So in this video, I want to go through three more examples of multiplying with decimals. So we'll start with 47 times 1.2. Now notice how I'm not lining up decimal point here, uh, or the units column. Uh, essentially, I am ignoring that the decimal point is there. Okay, so imagine that it's 47 times 12. So 2 times 7 is 14, so put down the 4, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus the 1 is 9. Okay, now ignore the decimal point, so think of it as 12. So now multiplying by 10, so we're going to have to add in a 0. 1 times 7, and then 1 times 4. So the two numbers that we have here, we're going to add together. 4 plus 0 is 4, 9 plus 7 is 16. Put down the 6, carry the 1. Form 1 is 5. So we get 564. Now we need to put the decimal point back in. So in total, we've got one number to the right of the decimal point. So we need to bring the decimal point in one place. So the answer is 56.4. Okay. Right. So let's take a look at example number two. We have 364 times by 3.22. Again, ignore the decimal point. So think of it as 364 times 322. We'll deal with the decimal point at the end. So 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 6 is 12. Put down the 2, carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Add on the 1 is 7. Now ignore that decimal point, so we're now going to be multiplying by 20, so we've got to add in a 0. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12, so put in the 2, carry the 1, 2 times 3 is 6, add in the 1 is 7. Ignoring the decimal point still, we're now multiplying by 300, so put in two zeros. 3 times 4 is 12, put in the 2, carry the 1, 3 times 6 is 18, add on the 1 is 19, put down the 9, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, add on the 1 is 10. So we now add together our three answers. 8, 10, put in the 0, carry the 1. 7, 9, 11, plus the 1 is 12, so put down the 2, carry the 1. 7 and 9 is 16, add on the 1 is 17, put down the 7, carry the 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, and then we've got the 1. So we get... 117,208, but now we need to deal with the decimal points. So, or well, the decimal point. So we look at the original question, and we've got two numbers to the right of the decimal point, so we need to bring the decimal point in two places. So we actually end up with 1,172.08. So you bring that decimal place in two points, okay? Or two, two jumps. Okay, so let's take a look at our last example. 8.97 times 7.45. Okay, so ignore the decimal places, uh, or the decimal points, and think of it as 897 times 745. 5 times 7 is 35, put in the 5, carry the 3. 5 nines are 45, add on the 3 is 48. Put in the 8, carry the 4. 5 eights are 40, add on the 4 is 44. Right, now ignoring decimal points, remember, we're now multiplying by 40. So put in a 0. 4 sevens are 28, put in the 8, carry the 2. 4 nines are 36, plus the 2 is 38, put in the 8, carry the 3. Four eights are 32, add on the three is 35. Put in the five, carry the three. Right, still ignoring the decimal points. We're now multiplying by 700, so we need to put in two zeros. Seven sevens are 49, put in the nine, carry the four. Seven nines are 63, add on the four is 67, put in the seven, carry the six. Seven eights are 56, add on the six is 62, put in the two, carry the six. So we then add those three numbers together, 5, 16, so 6 carry the 1, 4 and 8 is 12, 
plus the 9 is 21, plus the 1 is 22, put the 2, carry the 2. 4 and 5 is 9, plus the 7 is 16, plus the 2 is 18, put the 8, carry the 1. 3 and 2 is 5, plus the 1 is 6, and then we've got the 6. Okay, so we've got 668,265. Now we need to put in the uh, decimal point in the correct place. So, let's just write down the numbers that we've got. 668265, okay? Now, we go back to the question. We add up how many numbers to the right of the decimal point we have. We've got two there and two there. So there's four. So the decimal point has to come in four places. So starting from the right hand side, one, two, three, four. So the answer has got to be 66.8265.